Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the um, vidcast, the week four vidcast. Um, we've been really, really impressed with the outputs from the learning activities and the reflection and the analysis and the systematic way in which people have tackle the scenarios. Um, as tutors, we don't really feel that there's anything more that we would add to all of those brilliant ideas. Yeah, I concur. Um, you may notice that uh, I've posted some comments about something else that we're asking you to think about now, which is the role of the tutors in the course and how that might have changed since the time the course mm -hmm. began. Hopefully you will have spotted that uh, we uh, seem to be pulling back a little bit in terms of our level of activity, uh, which we're very deliberate about. And it's been pleasing, I think, from our perspective to see that um, the forums have been very active and contributed to by other people. We haven't really <laughs> been necessary, and that's exactly what we're kind of hoping for. And I guess the things we're sort of thinking about are um, you know, how long would you expect it to take in a normal course? Um, how do you ensure that that can happen? What are kind of some of the things you might need to be thinking about as a tutor to ensure that that does happen? The other things we've been really pleased about is, uh, well, and things that we'd like you to think about as participants is uh, what good posts look like. Um, and we've noticed a couple of things in particularly this week's contributions. Uh, I think we could probably say that we've found uh, lots of short, sharp posts, well, si well signposted, bullet point lists sometimes have been very, very helpful. And I've found particularly helpful those posts where people have tried to give some sort of summary concept or theme uh, that their post is about, uh, which have made them very readable, accessible and helpful. So things, hopefully, there's some of the things we hope you could have taken away from the last week. Um, we were going to talk about plenary discussion as well. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because it links forward to what we're talking about in week six. Um, you'll, you'll have kind of noticed that we uh, are always looking at the end of a week's activities for how the outputs from those activities might be either repurposed or um, presented back or made use of. Um, this week, I think what we have thought is that the plenary discussion in week four has been very rich um, and people have begun posting reflections that for us segue quite well into the week six um, topic, which is going to be good um, inventories of good practice. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> <And>, um, <coughs> And I guess what we're suggesting you do is, um, at some point leading into week six, you may well come back to this week four plenary discussion and mine it uh, for some of those principles of good practice that people have been recording, at least in terms of online learner support. So the next thing we're doing now is we're all going on holiday. Bye. Um, <laughs> so it's the university Easter break. Uh, there's two weeks um, where the course is not running, um, we're all going to be away for at least part of the time and we're not going to be in the participating in the course at all. The course officially suspends during that time. Uh, the discussion boards will still be open so you're still free to talk amongst yourselves and of course we encourage you to use some of that time to maybe catch up on the readings that you didn't get a chance to do earlier, um, to start preparing for your assignment if you're doing it. Um, and one of the things you might want to think back on in preparing for the assignment, especially if you don't have much experience of online learning or teaching until doing this course, is maybe reflect back on your experience of the group work activity now that you've had a bit of time kind of away from it, away from the, the hectic nature when it's all quite full on and, and quite um, stressful sometimes, to look back and think about how that works and maybe consider using that as a critical incident if you're struggling to think of one that would be useful. The other thing that you can think about doing over the Easter break um, is to start preparing for um, kind of linking together all of the other things you've been thinking as the course goes on um, and thinking about how the course has been going in general because we're going to ask you after the break to start thinking about that and I think Marion's going to tell us a bit about how that's going in a minute. Um, 
So what are we doing in week five? Reminder about week five. Week five is a short week uh, because of the Easter bank holidays. So we officially resume on the Wednesday of that week. It's going to be a very short week. Um, the focus is on assessment. The task is going to be focused around, the main task is going to be focused around thinking about how one might assess online group work. So uh, we suggest that between now and uh, the opening of week five, you think about uh, a short, sharp kind of uh, way of describing how you think that activity might have been assessed if you were in an actual accessible course for credit. Um, or how a similar activity might be assessed and uh, be ready to post that first thing on Wednesday so that we can all spend a short week thinking about those things and discussing some of the issues around the assessment of online activities. And then um, looking forward to week six, um, we have um, had a discussion about um, how the course has been going for us as tutors and how it seems to be going for you as participants and we thought it would be really nice to wrap up the course at the end of week six with a, a webinar and that will be at 3pm on Friday the 2nd of May and what we thought we would use that webinar to give everybody, participants and tutors, an opportunity to reflect on the TOOC experience so what we'll be doing will be, as we did in the icebreaker activity at, in induction week, what we'll be doing is setting up um, a shared Google slide area. So we'll be asking everybody just to prepare one slide about their overall experience um, in, in TOOC. There will be more instructions about that um, in the task in, in week six. And... Um, will come to the webinar be prepared to discuss your slide. Um, and just one more reminder, if you're doing the course for assessment, your deadline to get formative feedback on your assignment is it's the 2nd of May, which is the same day as the webinar. So if you want feedback in advance of your final formative, um, final summative submission, email Greg your, um, your initial thoughts or your or draft or whatever before then. Um, as early as possible really is good. If you have something in a position that you'd like feedback on now, you can send it in now and he'll get back to you with something helpful. Yeah. Um, have a good Easter break. Try not to work too hard um, and think of us going off on holiday. Bye-bye. <laughs>